You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Minister of Commerce and the Commissioner of Cambodia for Dubai World Expo 2020, Pan Sosak, led a Cambodian delegation to hold a bilateral meeting with the Minister of International Trade of the United Arab Emirates, Tani bin Ahmed Al Zayudi, to promote investment opportunities between the two countries on Monday. This meeting was held on the occasion of the celebration of the National Day of Cambodia at the World Expo 2020 in Dubai. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more. Minister Thani bin Ahmed Al Zayaudi commended the Royal Government of Cambodia for its support and participation in the six month Dubai Expo 2020. He informed the Cambodian delegation about the economic, trade, and tourism situation of the UAE and requested the Cambodian side to provide information on investment potential in Cambodia and to learn more about the joint ventures in the future. He stated that he wants a working group to study and examine the possibility of signing a free trade agreement between the two countries, as the UAE has done with India and some ASEAN countries in the past, in order to increase economic cooperation trade between the two countries. Minister Pan Sosak said the Cambodian has many favourable natural resources, thousands of agricultural products and many potential sectors that are developing, such as tourism, coastal areas, culture, ancient temples, especially Angkor Wat, transportation, airports, water ports, roads, buildings, and more that the UAE can come to invest in Cambodia. He stressed that the Cambodian also have a bilateral free trade agreement with China and the Republic of Korea and has continued to study the negotiations for a free trade agreement with major partners such as Japan, India, Mongolia, Canada and United Kingdom. To diversify markets and promote exports in line with the Royal Government of Cambodia fourth phase of the rectangular strategic policy. Minister Pan Salsak also agreed with the UAE to set up a working group to study the possibility of signing a free trade agreement. During the talks, the two countries also agreed to invite the delegations to pay an official visit to their respective countries to learn more about joint investment opportunities in various potential sectors and to promote free trade agreements between the two countries in the future. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.